What's up guys? So the fish new shipment is here. Um I was running a little bit late today and uh so I was kind of rushing over already. I need to turn the open sign. Flip it I mean. And then as I was pulling into the parking lot, I saw that there was a UPS truck and I knew I was gonna get either fish today or tomorrow because I didn't get a shipment confirmation. But I rushed over, ran over all the speed bumps <clears throat> and uh, told them that I'm here, the UPS guy. And he uh, came out, gave me the fish and all that. But here's all the fish. I ended up getting uh, three uh, fire eels. Where's the other one? Three fire eels. Uh, there should be two tiger shovelnose catfish. These guys are pretty badass. There's one. I think here's the other. Yeah, here's the other guy. And then I did have, I did get a flower horn. There's that. Then I have four baby arapaimas. Nice and active little guys. Let's see, let's put those together. Those together. And then I got four phantom red tail cats. These guys are pretty cool. So I got four of those. Uh, four arapaimas, four baby phantoms, three fire eels, two tigers, uh, the flower horn, and this one was a pre-order. Um, uh, golden Silphin uh, Ludius. Uh, that should be phase one, phase two, phase 1.5, phase two. Because he's starting to get some of that gold. But he's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna start floating some of these guys in the tanks they're gonna go. These guys are gonna go over here with these ones. I'm pretty picky on where I get my fish from. I won't get them from any horse. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, they wanna go eat the cat poop, but they get locked up and they get smacked too. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty picky on who I get my... Hey, Celine? No. Oh, and I forgot to go get their food. Okay, I'll do that later. But I'm pretty picky on who I get my fish from. I try to make sure they have some social media. That way I can see the pictures of the fish that they post. Look how cool these guys are. Dang. They're going to pop in this tank. But yeah, that way... Um, I see the if they have social media and um, uh, I'll wait on those then where's the tigers these should be the tigers and on the little videos that they post post and the uh, pictures or um, what do you call it um, the clips that they post um, you're able to well I have a lot of experience with the fish and that way I can see uh, what kind of quality what kind of conditions the fish are kept in but yeah that's uh that's my thing I'm pretty picky on um, on who I get them from so predatory fins a lot everybody knows them uh, they post a lot of videos, clips, and all that. I like how they uh, quarantine, how they keep their fish. It's pretty, um, pretty awesome how uh, um, uh, the conditions they keep them in. Where am I gonna put this guy? Uh, flower horn, flower horn. Where am I gonna put you? That tank and you do one more water change on. That one has babies. And you'll go right here for a bit. Hey, what are you doing?
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start. Oops, wrong lid. Start the quarantine or the acclimation process. But with them, I've gotten a few other fish from them. They never really come sick, so that's why I'm gonna throw them straight into these guys. Just uh, doing a temperature acclimation. Oh, I need to get this girl out. Who's been beating her up? But yeah, I don't care if the catfish, if they eat any of these guys. I'll just pull the female beta. I don't know who's been beating her up. Probably the geos. But everybody else could get eaten. I'll probably pull the geos, the red top type of geos out. Throw them in the 120 so they could grow out a bit quicker. But yeah, this will be their tank. And then the fire eels. I'm gonna do a water change on this one and pull some of the sand, clean out the, this algae thing and add more sand that I have uh, ready to add to this tank. Pull those guys out and then add the fire eels in here. Then the arapaimas. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I need to check them out because I'm keeping two of them. And two will be going in this tank so I could uh, draw them out. It might be a little bit too small. I need to pull that geophagus. Maybe. No, he should be fine. He leaves a smaller face. But yeah, they can't really jump out of this tank. There's a few spots, but I'll just cover up, cover it up with uh, plants with some of the pots and make sure there's no way they could jump out and I'll throw them in this tank or the arapaimas and then I'll throw I'll pick out one of the red tails throw it in here as well and I'm gonna grow it out it'll be two will be for me two arapaimas and then one red tail will be for me and then everything else is for sale the luteus he's already sold so I'll probably be holding it, folding it for the owner um, and he can pick it up in a week or something like that. But yeah guys, I'll get back to you once I uh, move some of these fish around and start releasing these guys. Okay guys, so it's been a couple hours. Since uh, last clip, but all the fish are out. I added a heater to this tank because this tank was pretty cold, and I'm pretty sure these guys are used to warmer water. So I added the heater. There's uh, the eels one, two. There's one eel missing. It's probably hiding. Should be three eels. Tiger. I like the tigers, they're pretty badass. Um, they look exactly like the adults, just tiny. Phantom red tails. The other tiger. So let me you go. see him a little bit better. But they're all doing fine. Oh, the, the other fire eel, fire eel is back there. But later I'll um, chop up some uh, some shrimp enough to fit in their mouth. These guys are probably like uh, three and a half, four inches. The red tails are around three and a half inches. Well, first come, first serve. Whoever comes first gets first pick of the fish. This fire eel. And then here's the flower horn. Let me turn on the flash. Pretty really good looking as well.
and then I put the air pipe. I was gonna put them in the acrylic 120, but the geophagus started chasing them, so I threw um, three of the air pipes in this tank because this tank has a heater. There's three of them, three little guys. In a bit, I'll throw them some food that way, they can start eating something. They're a little on the skinny side. All of them are on the skinny side. So they'll get some food here in a bit. I'll probably throw some Daphnia in here. That way they see some movement and chase it down. And maybe I'll throw in a few guppy babies. And they could eat them. Hopefully. And then I threw one more Arapaima in the discus tank. Let's see if we could find it. I threw one Arapaima in here. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, where'd you go? It went back there. Okay, that one's gonna stay in here. But yeah, these guys, they shouldn't bother it. Later I might pull them and throw them with the other ones. Because it's a smaller tank. But yeah, that's it guys. And then the Luteus. That one got picked up already. Then there's two that I'm holding for a guy. Till Friday. He already prayed for them. No, one of the one of the catfish and one of the arapaimas, but the rest are available. I'm keeping one. Probably later today I'll decide which one I'm keeping and pull them out. This guy's so cool. Okay, see you guys.